working on the chateau. What we're gonna do here, you may be able to see it. Yeah, you can kind of see that the lamination right there. That's what we're working on. Anywhere you see this blue tape, that's our delamination. Let's see if you can. Pretty soft up there, you can see it moving. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna fix all this delamination. We got some here. But that's pretty bad right there. Some here. It's all up there though. We got a couple more around the other side. Around the back. Got some here. Let's see how that's moving. A little bit there. Some more here. And I think that's it on this side. Most of it's on the other side. Can't see anymore. Nope. Oh, right up there. That front bunk. That whole thing's going to need to be redone right there. So that's what we got so far in our chateau. This is the chateau. We're going to put the corner mold back on. It's in the camper. What we noticed is we got a tear up here. This tape was just put on there to keep it watertight, that's all. So, this is on the driver's side. Alright, we're working on the chateau. What we're doing now is we're taking these screws out. And I'll show you. You may be able to see it from here. If you look, you can notice the bunk looks like it's got kind of an arch on it. Or a sag, maybe, is a better terminology. So we Take these screws out. Look how rusty they are. They're not even holding. Alright. Uh, that's kind of a good sign we got some damage. Or a bad sign we got damage. It's not a good sign. You can see how rusty these screws are. Oops, sorry there. They're all like that. A whole bunch of them. And this one coming out. Yep. You can see one. So what we're going to do, once we get these couple of screws out, we're going to take a look and see what's going on up there. Here are these other screws over here. These ones we got out. And you notice they're rusted from the inside out. The top here. Okay. That means there's water problems up here. So we're going to pop this down in a second. We got one or more? I got two more. Two more. Two more. Let's get some tools down here in the tool belt. Give me find something to pop that off with right here. This ought to work. This may work too. Down this end. You ready? Yep. Let's see how she is. You can see all the, the rust up in here. See all the rust? This piece overlapping. We have to take, may have to take more off. We've got rusty staples right there. Is that what that is? That's what that is, yeah. We may have to take some more off because this is tucked up underneath this trim. 
So we'll have to take all that off. We were hoping maybe we'd see something. So it may take us a few more minutes. But we'll keep you updated on what we we'll find. Now, this is our chateau. So we got the front fiberglass off. Let's see how rotted this is. And all up underneath here. All that. Even that framing, that framing right there is all rotted too, right in there. So we're just showing you what's going on with it right now. And uh, well, obviously you've got to rebuild it. And that's what we're working on. It'll be another bunk rebuild. So we salvaged this side here. We're going to salvage that, this piece of fiberglass. And then also the front we've done, we're going to salvage. And we do that so we don't have brand new pieces on there. One, they're expensive. And number two, no matter where you go, someone's going to say, hey, what happened to your coach? Hey, what happened to your camper? And then you have to get new decals too. It's here, it's just upside down. You don't have to put all new decals and the, this is consistently faded to whatever this is. You know, the same shade, the same hue. So it'll look like it fits because it's the same one, right? So that's what we're working on right now. And uh, that's about it. So we'll get back to you on this little chateau. Here's our chateau class C that we were working on. We want to show you a couple things. Some of these points of failure of what causes things to fall apart. So this here, I scratched some of this out, but this would be delamination. This piece is supposed to be a piece of eighth inch Luon, and it gets glued to foam. There's foam right there. It gets glued to that. This phylon gets glued to this. So the uh, other problem that we saw was this here. Look at that big gap. It goes all the way down, you see. That big gap, this should be a lot tighter to keep it tighter, but this ceiling, if you can see how much that's moving right there, there's no strength. All this has to work as one component. That should have been filled with at least another strip. So we're going to correct that. We probably won't change this frame size. This is all tigged together, but I will add another piece in there to get that all nice and tight. So when you put the screws in, but you can see the way they put the screws in down there. That big gap. See? So we're going to fix all that. I just want to give you guys an idea how this stuff works. You know, how it comes apart. So when you get a leak, it'll come down here and you can have different forms of delamination. And you can have a delamination where the fiberglass, the phylon here, will delaminate from the eighth inch. Or you could have it where the water would get behind this and then it would delaminate from the back of here, you see, in, in the, on the foam. So there's a couple of different forms of it. And if it gets really bad, then obviously the inside, you'll have that problem as well too. So that's where we're at with it. We're going to take this apart and start rebuilding it and getting it back together. You can see some of the rot already down there. This is the inside of the bunk. So we're going to redo all those pieces in there. Back here at our chateau. One of the other problems that we noticed here is this is plywood. And that's the way they usually cut these radius pieces. You can't put a screw into a grain like that. It has to be going through the plywood this way, not this way. It's kind of like trying to put a screw if you had like a broomstick and uh, trying to get a screw through all the little fibers of that. It's not going to work. And they don't usually hold. That's one of the problems. We're going to put solid stock in there. All right, this is our Chateau Class C. So we've got obviously the bunk out. Now this is an aluminum frame. And some folks prefer an aluminum frame because it's lighter. Um, I'll agree with that. I don't think the aluminum is any stronger. It's just lighter. But one of the other things that we notice a lot is the way they weld these. You can see this one separator right here. Look at that. It's all they do is put that little spot weld on there. And that's it. And same with this. You can see there's no welds around this corner here. There's no weld on that side. And all they do is they just hit it right there. Right, see if I can show you that. Turn the camera. That's all I got is that one there in a the corner. There's no other welds on it. They usually just tack them once. That's it. At least with wood, you'd have a little bit more strength. Same with these. You can see this one in here in that corner. Now the, so a lot of this, uh, I guess you call it shoddy workmanship, is what cause these things to fail. And then when that collapses, this collapses, and these things are put together to be to work as one component. They're light, but they need to work as one component. And if something fails, then it 
almost like a domino effect. You see, you like that one there. That's all they do. So most of this, this is stuck on here. All this is, and if you start tearing this, you'll start tearing into the foam. So we may be able to just sand this down. This is tight. That's just water stained. Then we'll put some mold kill on it just to be certain. And then uh, we could just lace over it with another piece. But if we start tearing that, we're probably going to tear that foam out. So we will keep you updated. What we found on this platform is that this really isn't glued that well. The other thing I didn't like is you see that foam right in here. Let's see if I can get this piece up. Right there, you can see that foam right here. It's not glued either. I want all this, everything fully adhered, make it one system. So that's why we're tearing it up. We're gonna rip it all up. And then this may be a better, better way to see it right here. So they had glue on here a little bit and some on here as well. You can see some of the strands and that's all. But this here isn't down as much as I'd like it to be. And like I said, I wanna get this glued to this as well. I want everything all glued together. So that's why we decided to take it up. So we're gonna do that and then uh, put a whole new skin on it. Now on this project here, the, uh, the owner said just leave the inside with the Luan finish and he'll finish it himself. He's gonna do all the trim and everything. So he said, don't worry about it, which is great. So we'll get all that together. But all the pieces, like right in there, that wall piece, we'll probably put a new one on, but we're not gonna put all the little bit of molding and trim on it or anything. He said he'll trim it all out himself. And he'll probably whether put wallpaper or whatever he wants, but he'll take care of all that. So that's where we're at now. So we'll get all this glued together, build all these other pieces, and we'll get going on it. But I like to show folks just how flimsy they put these things together and what causes a lot of this breakdown. And this is stuff, in my opinion, that should have been done better at the RV center. And you know, they need to have, especially with as much flexing and vibration that these coaches take, uh, every bit of glue helps absorb all of that vibration. And that's why we're so concerned about putting the adhesive in there even on the uh, the framework that we do everything is all glued and screwed because there's too much like I said too much vibration and flexing and twisting that these things say well, almost like a mini earthquake going down the road so well, that's what we're working on we'll keep you give you more updates here on the Chateau bunk rebuild stay tuned all right after looking at this deck this is the platform to that class C but after looking at it I didn't like the way the foam was, it didn't stay, so we just tore it all apart and rebuilt the whole thing. So we're going to load it back up with new foam and make sure everything is all glued, all the edges will be glued. And then uh, we can get the other skin back on it and get it mounted in there. And sometimes I'll look at something and I may think I may be able to salvage it, and if it just doesn't look right, we don't let it roll. Just the way we do things here. Chateau update! Alright, so we got the bunk platform already rebuilt. And then uh, we got these radiuses in, and we're going to insulate that. Now all of this has been insulated up here as well, that platform is. And then also this top piece has been done, this front fascia piece. So all that's been done, and now we got our foam that we're going to put in there and adhere it in. And then we'll be wrapping it and getting the phylon on there and everything. So on the inside, so I was saying that Luan that's up there on the top, that's how we're going to leave it. The uh, owner is going to take care of that himself let's see like hopefully the camera light will still be all right but this is what we got so far and that's how we're going to leave that and he's going to take care of it he's going to put all the trim in and everything we're going to leave that platform just like that obviously and we may even just leave out some of the pieces that go around that there we just if this is stuff he can do we're just trying to save him some money and then we don't have to do it and again he can do it at his leisure so he's uh some people can do it some people want us to put it together we just try to do what we can to stay in your budget and if you're handy enough to do some stuff then we'll be glad to leave it for you and you can deal with all the easy stuff and we'll just get it all watertight and structurally sound so he can decide what wallpaper obviously we got to cut out the uh for the window and so forth so like i said we just put in over there was just a little piece we put in that paper just come off and then uh, but otherwise that little corner piece is done and then this whole side was bad so we replaced all of that on both sides on the uh, inside and the outside we did so 
it's all been glued back in but we replaced all of this the piece underneath there the luon actually you can see a piece right, right here to step out this way you can see it right here that's the piece that we did and we said we'll get all that glued back in here we got some trim that we got to deal with we want to make sure everything lines up right so that's about us that's where we're at with this chateau and uh we're also getting the roof on it that's what we're working on so we're trying to get it all buttoned up got a chateau update so we got the phylon glued on here and you can see the luon on the inside that's the way we're going to leave it he's going to finish the rest of that so we just uh, put a little piece in there in the corner you can see it that's just a piece of ripped out wallpaper so. and then in here really there's a, a box you can see my hand here there's a box that comes out like that that's what the those pieces are for it kind of shells over make a little box and then now we got the window to put in obviously the lights one of the other concerns that we had when we started this was this piece this front piece here wasn't up tight here so we brought it back up and fastened it and we've got some bridge plates in there too glue everything's glued and screwed to pull it back up and that's probably what instigated most of this damage is because it wasn't put together as one component so when the thing was bouncing and everything and they only had one rib in there we filled it all up with ribs I think we already showed you that we put all ribs radiuses all the way around across there so we fitted all that in there and that'll add some more strength obviously everything's glued and screwed we built the bunk like I said so all this has to work as one piece you know as one component so you gotta keep things glued and screwed together so like I said this is this is what we did we brought it up so it's really tight now it's not gonna have any issues with that because that's where it started the failure started up there and then the water just started coming in and rotting everything out and it got diverted around and so forth so we still got windows to put in and uh, we got the roof down you can see that we've got our buffer strips in here we've got them up underneath you can see them right there this is it right here the phylon's too sharp you don't want to just roll the roofing over it so this is going to protect the main roof right here so put that on there now what we're doing now is getting our heat gun warmed up so we're going to heat weld this so we can put our turn bar on it's one of the first things we've got to do there are all the curbs right there laid all those up i got boots going on for the back here are the boots right here so we make all this in-house there's the uh shower lens and what we did on this shower lens he's got a clear lens so absolutely clear you get on the roof and you look down you'd see some of the framing so what we did is we platted it with aluminum in there to kind of just take some of the ugliness out of it so that's uh that's where we're at right now with this uh chateau so we'll keep you updated on what we got going on once you're ready to roll but we still obviously got to still cut out all the holes for the vents and the ac and that type of stuff we block all those up for our own safety and also when it keeps stuff from getting inside the coach as we're working so afterwards we go back and cut them all out it's just a lot easier so and we'll be back with more on the chateau coming up stay tuned like us on youtube and facebook subscribe all that social jazz this is our chateau update so we rebuilt the bunk put a new roof on it and we're going to show you on the bunk all we did is we just left it luon I don't know if you can see in there there's our chateau update so what we did put a roof on this and we also rebuilt that bunk so we left the bunk bare he's going to go in and put the texture on there I hope you can see that but it's just Luan there's no trim there isn't anything in there it's just save him a couple dollars he can do it himself which is just great you know anything that needs to be done if it can save him some money then they get them put together the way that they want them done. So let's go up here and take a look at the the roof system. You come up these nice set of stairs. You 
got our brand on there. June 18. We got the roof down. You can see we've got some buffer strips here. Everything's all heat welded in all around the, the curbs right here. That's all heat welded. There's no sealant. Now there is up under, underneath the cover on the around the vent, but there's no it's not gonna get washed and eroded or anything. That's a, also an adhesive sealant. It's not your typical die core. All of this is double layered. We've got two layers on here. Put the pipe boot in there. We've got stands for our AC. You can see all the stripes that we put in there, the buffer strips. That's what I mean by the stripes. So we've got it all put together here. We've got a front flashing piece so we don't have driving rain try to get up underneath the try to get up underneath the uh, air conditioner cover. We've got our antenna mounted up there. So we've got these little flanges here. That's heat welded on. Water is starting to come across the coach as it does. It's going to hit here and it's going to run out. It can't get up and over and into anything. We've got them on all of them. This one here has them. You can see over there in the skylight, the refrigerator, even on this AC, which you probably have trouble seeing underneath it. So then you come over here to the to the ladder. We've got these boots in here. And if you can wiggle that. Typically all they do is they have these plates on the roof. And then they put the screws in just like they do here, and then they slide the caulking around it. Well, they always leak. So we make these boots up. Everything here is all fabricated at the shop. So if you need anything custom, we can do it too. We can do a custom fit, whatever it is. All right, this one over here, which is we're about to redo, that skylight is a five-sided. So that's our chateau. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel, and uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 423-475-7663. And we'll be glad to point you in the right direction.